good morning. I've got this thing working nicely and smoothly, and output is still way below break even. But I, it's taught me that it's still not the best configuration, so I will be developing another one. <laughs> the final, final, final um, prototype endeavor. I've got a slight advantage at the sprocket here, or one to one, or, or you know, just a little better. That is really sweet. Uh, turns out this is a 19 to 1 configuration. Yeah, uh, with the uh, radii that I'm using now. 10 and inches and 2 and an eighth inches. No, that's not right. That's got to be 5. 4 or 5 to 1. Anyway, it just, uh, you know, it did uh, figure how to do it. And the push and drive down here is still just a basic... Uh, friction wheel drive, uh, and if other things were good, this very high ratio, high reduction ratio, would have a lot of possibilities. Anyway, let me just spin it up. It's fully, it's shorted, fully loaded. This is its top speed, and, uh, Um, oh, it's not going fast enough. It's not making five volts, so it's way short of break even. However, you know it. Uh, if uh, a person had more options. At the input side and the output side, even this configuration could, could deliver considerable power. Yeah, the power takeoff was at a more like a um, a water wheel, hydroelectric water wheel, a wind turbine, where the first output stage, the first point where energy is converted, you have a one to three step up, and then a second stage of whatever. That, I don't know all those details. Anyway, I may yet get break even with these two parts, these components. I did have both drivers, both prime movers going, but... Uh, as it turns out, the reduction at the friction drive of 166 to 1 is too high. It reduces 10,000 RPM down to not enough, no matter what you do. So, that's, uh, that's, that's the next chapter. Thanks.